Hello, my name is Michael Stevens. I'm a pediatric gastroenterologist at the Mayo Clinic, and I specialize in Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. I want to talk about a specific problem that can happen in patients who have Crohn's disease called a perianal fistula. When a perianal fistula happens, it's almost as if a new connection is developed. And maybe a good way to think about this is, the, is that the irritation and the damage from Crohn's disease actually burns a hole into the wall and creates a new connection between the, the rectum and the skin. So there's a small, tiny tract that's, that's traveling just next to the main channel where the rectum empties out of your body. This can be very painful and really have a, a negative impact on an individual's quality of life. The reason that the, I think this came, comes up is there's a recent paper that was just published that looked at a large group of children uh, who had Crohn's disease. And this looked at two studies uh, where they combined the data. Uh, the study were called Imagine 1 and Imagine 2. And these were sponsored by the manufacturer of a medication called Adalimumab. Um, the, trade name, the brand name of that is Humira. Uh, and, th and those studies were, the purpose of those studies was to show that the medication was effective in children uh, in their applications to the regulatory agencies that approve use of drugs like the FDA. So these authors uh, who were a part of the, uh, who belonged to the centers that were enrolling patients in this, uh, reviewed the data and specifically asked the question, uh, how effective was this medication in dealing with perianal fistulas in children with Crohn's disease? And in, the, and in the first study, called Imagine 1, where patients were followed for a year, uh, a little over, uh, uh, about 45% of patients who had a fistula had closure of that fistula. So it essentially, uh, it, it became no longer a problem. Uh, and in a little over 50, it's it actually about 53% of patients, they at least had significant improvement in their symptoms and discomfort related to that fistula. The second study was a, an extension study for patients who were responding that went a little over five years. And what they found was a significant majority of patients whose fistula got better uh, continued to do well continuing on, on medical therapy uh, with, with adalimumab. Um, so I think there's a couple of points um, that that are important with this is that we're getting better at being able to help patients who have this problem. Uh, and this is now reflected in even some of the societal guidelines about the management of this disease uh, that recommend using medications called anti-TNF medicines. Adalimumab is one anti-TNF, but there are others. Uh, and the other that is approved in children is called infliximab. Uh, these are effective. Uh, but it's not effective for everybody. And so if we think about where we need to go moving forward, it's, it's finding other treatments for the people who, who may not respond to these uh, conventional treatments. There are many, many thoughts about how we could uh, proceed uh, to help those patients. Uh, one project that we have active at the Mayo Clinic is a project that tries to close those fistula tracts by essentially filling them in. And historically it's been difficult for that type of approach to work in patients with Crohn's. Uh, our approach is a little bit unique. In, instead of filling it with maybe a glue or a plug, we actually have a, a much more elaborate type of plug to fill those, uh, to fill those fistulas. What happens is um, fat cells are harvested from an individual who has uh, a fistula and that's taken to a lab and they can extract a specific type of cell. They're called mesenchymal stem cells and those cells are grown up and are actually grown with uh, a collagen matrix that's like a plug that has has many little tails and that plug at a later date can be inserted into the fistula tract so that those stem cells whose one of their main jobs is to is to help tissues heal, uh, can help close that fistula site. And so this is 
a new therapy uh, that's currently under investigation to try to help young patients who may not respond to conventional therapy for a perianal fistula.